There are fears churches could become silent if bell ringing groups can't attract more people. It's hoped many more can be recruited to help herald the coronation of King Charles. And as well as finding more ringers, some church bells themselves also need fine tuning. Emma Rominski reports from Modbury Church. Don Irish has been ringing bells in churches for the last 60 years. He's now teaching a new group of bell ringers that will form a band for St Lawrence Church in Bickery. He learned from his father at the age of 19, but they're relying on him to pass on his skills in just a few months so they can ring the new bells for the King's coronation. Now, will you be ready for the coronation? Yes, we will. For certain we will. How good we'll be, I think, I, I, I hate to comment, but there will be bells ringing and they'll be fine as far as the villagers are concerned, but any proper bell ringer will almost certainly see that we're a very new team. I'm a new member of the community and um, I, I do go to the church. I just felt it would be really nice to, um, to actually have bells there and it does bring some life into the village. They're using Modbury Church to practice. Finding new bell ringers hasn't been easy. Nationally, the Central Council of Church Bell Ringers estimates they are 8,000 people short and trying to recruit more before the coronation of King Charles III. We certainly need the youngsters. Um, I've given you the average age in Modbury here of 65, so we do need the youngsters to keep it going. The bells at nearby St Lawrence in Bickery have been silent for at least 20 years. Water damage to the structure that supports them made it too dangerous to ring them, and there was a real fear the church eventually would have to close altogether. The community has raised around £250,000 to get it repaired. 50,000 of that came from one couple who want to preserve the church for future generations. My parents are buried there and, you know, I, I don't want to see the church close. It's a, a beautiful church. It's got masses of heritage in it and it's a vital part of the community. Um, we've got to keep it going. We're at the stage now where the bells are hopefully ready to come back and to be rung in the new year. And I think for, for me, one of the lovely things about bells in a local community is that they remind people that their local church is alive. They hope by reinstating Big Reese Bells, they can help the community with acts of celebration and remembrance once again. Emma Rominski, BBC Spotlight, Modbury.